When I got home, Ken was asleep. I was too shaken up to go to bed. The incident with Claire had left me edgy and uncomfortable. I thought if I read for a while, it might relax me. I thumbed through my mother's edition of Rilke. When I was 16, I had done a paper on his poem about the panther and on the image that the panther saw as it stared out from its cage. And that image, I concluded, could only be death. Then I saw my mother's favorite poem, Archaic Torso of Apollo. There were stains on the page, which I believe were her tears. They fell across the last line. For here there is no place that does not see you. You must change your life. <laughs>